hey guys welcome back to another video so this is the video you all were waiting for this video is about how you can install mods in gta 5 enhanced edition so i tried very hard to find this thing and i finally modded my gta 5 enhanced and uh, especially with car mods so it will be a long video and uh, it will be a step by step guide so don't miss out anything don't skip anything uh, otherwise the mods will not work properly so without wasting any time let's get started and before getting into the video please do hype this video as you always do and thank you so much for all your support so without wasting any time let's get started so for step one we will be installing natural vision enhanced mod in our game so just go to your google chrome and uh, type out natural vision enhanced and this is the first one raised mods click here also i'll be uh, giving the links in the description so that you don't miss out anything and uh, this is the official website where you can download the natural vision enhanced mod as you can see here the gta 5 is written so click on that and this is for gta and 5 enhanced version and uh, the below one is for gta 5 legacy version so we'll be using this one natural vision enhanced for the gta 5 enhanced version so just click on this and here is the download option only for single player mode this is available don't use this in uh, online mode at all otherwise you will get banned and uh, just click download here and uh, download this file so as soon as the file is downloaded just uh, extract that file and uh, as you can see here it's a folder of natural vision enhanced so yes uh, the first step is done and uh, now let's go and install four other mods and uh, then i'll show you how it, you can install it in your game directory so in the next step you will be downloading four other mods which are open rpf rampage launcher which will be launching the mods in the game and uh, script hook v and uh, car mods file in which all the car models are there so to download those four files uh, go to my description and uh, there are four links so you can click on that and easily download those files so after installing all those files uh, and extracting them as you can see on my desktop there are five folders so these all five folders you need just to install the mods and uh, let's go to the next step which is uh, open your gta 5 game library which is official one so go to your steam account or epic games account uh, for me it's steam account so let's go to my steam library and check uh, for the official folder of gta 5 enhanced game so let's go to my steam account and uh, we'll search gta 5 enhanced here here it is just open it and here is a setting button okay you can see just click on this and go to manage then browse local files click on this so this is your main gta 5 enhanced directory connected with steam so in this folder only you will install all the mods so in the next step let's start putting the mods into our gta 5 game directory so first of all we will be installing script hook v so just open that and let me open this side by side yes so this is a script hook v folder and in this folder just go to bin section and copy all these files except native trainer.asi and just drag these into this folder as you can see all the files are inserted in my folder now script hook v is installed let's go to the next step so next we will be installing the rampage enhanced which is a rampage trainer for the game and as you can see this is the rampage trainer folder just open this one and these two files rampage files and rampage.asi you just need to drag these files into your gta folder let's do this and see it's all installed now here now let's go to next file so for the next step we will be installing natural vision enhanced uh, in our directory so this is the folder which i've opened here and go to the main package folder then copy all these files and directly just drag it into your folder so now it's time to install open rpf file and uh, 
just open that open rpf folder which i have downloaded from the link and just drag this one file just just drag this one file to your folder it's showing replace for me because i've already installed it so just click on replace so rpf is also installed in your game so now it's time to install the last mod in the game directory and which is uh, gda5 enhanced car mods so this folder you will get uh, which you will be downloading from the description link and uh, open this one folder and uh, the above two folder car files and this onigiri uh, just copy this select this and just drag directly into your game library that's it i'm not doing this right now because i've already installed these files in this one so yes so now you have installed the car files into your game so one last thing which you have to do is open this readme file and go down and you will see this one these dlc list firstly let me align this thing so now you have to do is just copy this all and go to your gta game directory here and go to this folder and go to common data and then this dlc list you, you can see here i just right click on that and edit in notepad now you will see this whole list of dlcs go to the end like this and here you have to paste that thing all the items which you copied from that file and just align this one like this all the lines so that the mod will work properly then it's it all should be aligned like this in the same so as you can see i have done this i have aligned properly everything so just click here and just save this that's it now your cars mod is perfectly installed now let's go in the game before that before that before that there is one more important step which you have to do open your rockstar game launcher and go to settings and then you can see battle eye here just disable this one that's it and now you are good to go we will be heading into the game now and i'll show you how you can use your mods which you have installed and how you can bring on different cars into your game also if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial do comment down and i'll try to help each one of you so without wasting any time let's get into the game so guys as you can see we have entered the game and uh, the mods are already installed in the game and i'm here standing and this is my car so let's start the launcher by clicking f5 as you can see rampage launcher is on now if you want to teleport your car which you have installed go to vehicle then go to spawner then go to add on loader and then you can choose any of your car let's bring a gtr and just to close the launcher click on f5 again and you can do end everything with this launcher like you can add cash you can change weather time this is the car as you can see natural vision enhanced is also installed in the game so the quality is looking amazing and i'm playing this on ultra graphics Now my car is damaged. Let's repair this one. Go to Rampage Launcher. Go to Customize. Repair. 
done. For the cash, as you can see here, Michael is having this much amount of cash, which I did from the launcher thing. If you like this tutorial and if the tutorial worked for you, do hit a like, share and subscribe to my channel. So guys, this was the tutorial and it is easy if you follow step by step and don't miss out anything. And still, if the mods tutorial doesn't work, so you can comment down below and I'll try to reply each and every one of you and try to solve your problem. And I will be bringing more car mods uh, tutorial, how you can add more cars into the game. So I'll try to bring that as well. Also, don't forget to hype this video. Please, please, please do hype this video. Thank you for all the support you gave me. And till then, this is Nighthawk signing off. Goodbye.